All right, it is Friday. What time is it, Willie? Uh, 11.54. 11.54. Willie Q's in the house. What's up? First episode of Red Chair. We're setting it up. And we're going to go out later, but right now we got to set this shit up. All right, well, we finished. We just wrapped up here at the Red Chair Podcast. I've uploaded the video. I'm creating a new tab. You know, YouTube now has a tab for podcasts, so I just created that tab. And Willie Q's episode should be there. And the vlog from yesterday is uploading. So go ahead and check that out. And I think the podcast went well. It's a little over two hours. I think my computer starts heating up after, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. And very minimal um, technical issues. For some reason, I couldn't pull up stuff on OBS, but I just need to learn that program a little bit more in depth and just be more confident with, you know, using it properly. So overall, I think it sounded good. Um, it will obviously improve as the more I do it, the more experience I have. But for right now, episode one is live. The Red Chair Podcast. It's an idea I've had since forever, and it's, it's there. Next episode, not sure. For right now, I want to keep working on it. I might go live stream a few more times to kind of tweak my knowledge base. I want. I need to. I need to get a better computer. And the internet, although it was pretty good uh, today, I want to get maybe maybe a, a stronger internet connection to to really, uh, you know, do it correctly. I mean. It's fine. It streamed well. I think Willie was funny. We had a good conversation. We talked a lot about different things. Um, and, it, and it didn't lag from what we saw. So, Alright, so I'm going to chill. And I'm going to get out and maybe do a few airport runs today. And then uh, head over to the Comedy Inn later tonight. But it's a long night because I have a 5 a.m. reservation. Great. Look what just came in the Amazon package. Jesus Christ. Great. You think maybe I needed this, uh, I don't know, six hours, uh, five hours ago? It's the, um, mic stand for the red chair. All right, well, that would have made things a little bit easier today, but what can we do? It's a work in progress, guys. Let's get out of here. All right, well, we got our first ride. Taking some UM, a UM person to, oh, you crossing the street like an idiot. Fucking neighborhood, bro. I can't wait till they kick all these fucking people out of here. They're building student housing right here and all this shit's going down. Um, we're going to Coconut Grove and then, bro, I'm hungry, bro. I haven't eaten all day. Uh, we're just gonna do a few rides before um, before we meet Willie down at the Comedy Inn. Join me. All right, simple enough. Dropped off those a mother and a daughter from the UM um, housing places to this Italian restaurant, Sapori de Mare. Very popular here in Coconut Grove, and right next to the sandbar where all the UM students go. What's funny is like, you know, when, when I take UM students and their parents in an Uber, it's funny how different they act than when I'm taking them at fucking two in the morning and they're talking about drugs and hooking up with fucking chicks and boys and doing all sorts of shit. And you know, I look back at them like, yeah, still want me to play little baby? Or how about Paul McCartney's wings is all right for mommy? Fuck. The motherfuckers don't know. Should have been like, hey, great to see you, Lindsay. Uh, by the way, the other night, did your friend make it out all right at three in the morning? Boy, I've never seen so much vomit in my life. Jesus Christ. And did that drug dealer ever get back to you? Fill me in. 
All right, so I got another trip right after I dropped this off. One after another, so small rides, but whatever, they're paying. Uh, and this guy is also heading to the Grove. I'm coming out of the Grove to go back into the Grove. I can think this one is Ubering to Regatta. Bro, what's up with Miami today? Does anybody fucking look both ways before crossing the street anymore? Or do we fucking abolish those rules? We banned those books. How to cross the street. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's the car's fault always. <sighs> All right. So this guy, ah, Jesus Christ, I didn't expect to get so upset so early in the fucking vlog. This guy, I'm picking him up here at the Lifetime building, which is right in front of us, these two buildings. I guess the first one is the Lifetime. I don't know what this one's called. But it's very ritzy. It's almost as expensive as the Thesis. Thesis is probably more. And the perk of this one is there's actually a Trader Joe's on the ground floor. So how perfect is that? And the podcast is doing okay numbers, but the vlog is down in views for this amount of time. So I'm not sure if it's maybe too much Mario for one day. If you sat down a two hour fucking podcast, maybe you're not thrilled to catch my daily activities. But whatevs, we're gonna manage this. We're gonna set up a schedule, see what days is better for what, and proceed accordingly. But that's weird, only 87 views and it's been up for two hours and 31 minutes. You know? So I posted at around 5.30 or 6.30, so. All right, let's go back to the Coconut Grove after we pick up this uh, swinging dick. All right, we're here at Regatta. Wow, it's a little bit annoying getting a fucking ride right as you drop off the fucking person because you still haven't even swiped that you completed the ride. And fucking thing starts beeping. But we're taking a guy from here to back to the Grove. I mean, back to another place in the Grove. It's a small, uh, small trip. So... Bro, if I can gauge this, it's only 8 o'clock. If I could gauge Miami right now for Uber, I would say a lot of people are heading to the Grove. The Grove, in general, I see a lot of movement, a lot of people walking on the streets. It is Friday night. Um, I have a 5 a.m. reservation that I thought was for yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, and I put a little future Mario, put a little sign that said it was for today. So, I'm probably going to do a late night tonight. Uh, and um, so there's no sense in getting all worked up right now but I'll do a few rides until it's time to uh, go hang out with Willie Nick alright we are in front of Bodega and these are my favorite rides from Regatta because sure these are only like two three dollar rides Whatever, two sixty to four dollar rides, but bro, it is dangerous driving in the Grove right now. Everybody just crosses in front of your fucking car, bro. It's like cars don't exist, you know. They're just Ubers. Who cares if they run you over? It's their fault. Um, you know, when you get a four dollar ride going three bucks, and it's a group of people and they're having a good time. You know, sometimes they throw you three bucks, three, four bucks, sometimes five. So all of a sudden, bro, you just made like eight, nine dollars, <laughs> ten dollars sometimes. Because people, people that take Uber for short distances almost feel like they're inconveniencing you. Like, oh, I know this is a short ride, you know, that sucks. Yeah, but, you know, here's five bucks. Cool. Not saying that's what's going to happen here, but there is that possibility. Another possibility... <laughs> now this is, I'm going to mention something here, for all of those Uber riders out there, this is for the customer, for all those people that are used to tipping on the next day, you get fucked up, all of a sudden you take a longer ride, let's suppose these people take a longer ride tomorrow from Brickell to fucking Cutler Bay or something, you know, a $25 ride, and they forget and they want to tip the next morning. What if they make a mistake and they tip me for that guy's ride? Right? When it's like, oh man, did you did you remember to tip your Uber driver, honey? Yeah, okay, I got it. 
and you know, she grabs the phone. All right, bro, I'm not doing this. She grabs the phone and then tips me instead of the guy who drove him to Cutler Bay. I'm, I'm down with that too. I'll take your little error. That's why it's good to tip right away, bro. You know who you're tipping. All right, I got a Man, great job, great job. Boy, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but the people in Miami are driving worse than ever before, bro. Look at this fucking guy. And, then, and this is the guy who just passed me. And look, he's just in the corner store here, just wants, you know, just park in the middle of the street to go grab a beer at the fucking corner store, bro. That's great, that's great. No, no, that's no, so fine, you don't have to look for parking. You're special, you can cut in front of a car and then park in the middle of the street with your hazards on. It's, you, you, got your, oh, you got your hazards on? Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Park in the middle of the street. All right, I got a ride for the buildings here on um, Douglas Road. The the um, buildings here called um, the what is it called? The Link or the Cross something, whatever. This beautiful building right here. This is a pretty big, beautiful luxury apartment complex too, right right by the Douglas Road Metro Rail Station. And this person is headed a little north, so we're gonna end up by the airport. And with all this rain, airport lot might be a good uh, place to be. So join me, we're going to the airport after this. Oh, I believe it's called the core. And instead of a Trader Joe's, they have a Mil Milliam Milliam's Market underneath. So, it's the same kind of uh, ordeal, right? All right, now the first one here is called Cascade. Cascade's got the Milliams. And where I'm picking up this girl is the core. There's the link at Douglas, and this is the core. Now let's see where this uh, she's probably coming out now. This is the core building. All right. I was like, oh, I'm coming down now. Oh. I wonder how many times I've been in this situation and I'm still, like, waiting for them to put on their makeup. All right, dropped off this nice young lady here in the Gables. Probably visiting her parents or something. I don't know. So, this almost never happens, right? Getting short rides, like, I probably haven't even driven five miles since I accepted my first ride today. I've only declined one. And, um, you know, it's been like, you know, keeping me in the area. I'm in Coral Gables, from South Miami, from Coconut Grove. Uh, now I'm a little closer to the airport, so I'm gonna make the trek north, see if I can get in the lot, see what's going on in the airport. Friday, it's raining. I mean, we got that going for, you know, the reason this week hasn't been that bad, I think, it's all the rain. Hopefully, it sucks when, fuck man, you can only make this kind of money in rainy rainy weeks. You know, it's gotta rain every day for me to, you know, make okay money. And it kinda sucks, you know? It's like, well, what if it's fucking clear si skies this week? It's like, whatever. Well, hopefully, some of the guys in the WhatsApp group chat at the airport were telling me, uh, some people were saying that the slow season is at a tail end. We can almost see the light. Uh, I'm like, I'm all for it. All right, I'm hungry. I think I wanna go to Checkers before I go to the airport lot. All right, let's go to Checkers. No AI at the Checkers in Little Havana. But there's reggae Hola, buenas noches, me da un momento. Está bien? Gracias, mi vida. But you gotta know Spanish. Hola, buenas noches, ¿cómo lo ayudo? Hola, dame un número uno mediano con un Mr. Pip. Ok, número uno. Eso es todo. Ok, puede venir a la ventana. Gracias. Hola, buenas noches. So it's either AI and your order gets to the pushy salesman lady or you need to speak Cuban Spanish. There's no middle ground in Miami. You can't order for checkers within English. ¿Cómo está? And while you're in line, you can barely hear the drive through teller because they're having a fucking bachata party outside <laughs> on the parking lot. Oh, Miami. This is why Willie Q doesn't like Miami anymore. But these are our people. We have no choice. You must 
take you. You must accept your fate. All right, more by the airport. <laughs> There's the flooding. It's non-existent, basically. So it didn't rain all day, and there's very little flooding on these streets. So we can't use it as a barometer, but you know, I think it's interesting to do that. Airport lot, fairly empty. I'm already at 41.45 as I came in. I'm going to park here. Well, yeah, totally empty. Look at that. There's never that much space on the end of the lane here. All right, immediately down to 31 to 35. Let's see if we can get something here. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but there's a man resting in the trunk of that Toyota Camry. 26 to 30. Like, is, it, is that more comfortable than just putting your seat back? Like, how weird is that? Like, that dude is just, like, chilling in the trunk of his fucking Camry. All right, bro! It's serendipity, guys. $18 ride, and we're gonna end up in Pinecrest. That's amazing. So, we're gonna do this ride, and this leaves us right by the Comedy Inn. So I'm gonna meet up with Willie, fuck around for a little bit, and then hit the ground running at night. So let's go to Pinecrest. It's not not busy at the airport. There's a little bit of traffic coming in here and there's plenty of people waiting to, to be picked up. <sighs> door five is the worst do door to pick people up. It's just where, it's where these lanes merge. I have a pink suitcase, gotcha. All right, see you in Pinecrest. All right. I am, I'm right in the neighborhood of the Comedy Inn. How fucking, wow. How, uh, what a coincidence. Like I'm literally like four blocks away. Just dropped off this young woman and her mother uh, here in Pinecrest. And immediately when I helped them out with their bags, I got an $11 order to Coconut Grove, but I declined it since I'm in the area. It's 9.43, show's probably already started. So let's over, head over and take a break and go to uh, visit our old friend, Willie Q. And maybe we should ask him about uh, how he think the podcast came out. Um, so here we go. All right, there's the quality in. Now, I think on the vlog I said 128. It's actually on 144th and US one. And it looks like a, just a quality inn hotel you might find anywhere in the city, in the state. It's part of Choice Hotels, I believe. But it's actually a once, once a month comedy club and probably Miami's best kept secret for comedy venues. So if you don't know, now you know. All right, welcome to the Comedy Inn at the Quality Inn, part of Choice Hotels. Now, I am bringing my camera with me, but I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna do in here. I gotta play it by ear. I haven't seen a lot of these people in a while from my comedy days, and I'm not sure how many are cool with, you know, me vlogging and pointing the camera at myself. Yes, entire time, all right. Hey, this is really nice. Look, they got this little entrance. Unfortunately, she slurred You said it good. By the way, we have an open bar. She just sort of, you can clearly tell. <laughs> Some of us have been taking advantage of it. Also, give a round of applause for your bar staff. So goddamn good. Those Everybody told me it was forced to see, you know, way more people die in this country each year from heart disease than gun violence. Do you think that the government should start, you know, regulating what we eat too? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> take a look at me, take a look at the rest of the country. I feel like we can do with a little bit of regulation. You know? Take it out of our hands, you know? It's midnight, you order a cheesesteak. 
woman behind the counter is like, sir, just so you know, there's going to be a three-day waiting period. I'm like, background check on you. It's more of a health check, actually. A blood panel, cholesterol. Yeah, that was fun, huh? You thought it was going to be a gun joke. I could feel everybody get tense. It's a fat joke, everybody. It's good. I'll do that. I don't know if you've ever seen that cheeseburger where they got rid of the normal buns and put donuts on there for buns. Oh my god. Yeah, that is what you call an indoor food. Yeah, it's, it's, I bring that back to the hotel, you know. Go down to my underwear. I sit in front of a mirror so I'm not eating alone. You know? You're handsome, you got the same thing I did. What are the odds? Shame it. That's what I do. <laughs> It's true. We fucking comment. We're on the road. We eat like shit. You guys are on vacation. You don't eat healthy, right? Because you can't. Yeah, you can't do it. That's our lives. You know, I was in Philly for a whole week. And I got all my meals at a Wawa gas station. <laughs> yeah, it's good for one meal, not all of them. Right, hey, Miami slash Pine Woo! Fest. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Okay, this was just called the bottom of Kendall. When they incorporated and now we're Pinecrest or I don't know. Fucking Cutler Ridge was Cutler Ridge and then they made it Cutler Palmetto Gated Community Bay. Whenever you see a TV show that takes place down here but it's not shot down here, it's like shot in LA and they fake it or whatever, they always do that. They just they like have a randomizer and they just put like all those words in and that's what pops out. It's like everything's either Cutler, Palmetto. <laughs> They're just like the aliens landed in Palmetto Ridge, you know? <laughs> it was just like, you know what the fuck you're talking about. It's good to be home. It's good to be home, man. This is awesome. So much nostalgia. Every time I come back, I have a routine. I get some mustard curry sauce from Chicken Kitchen. I get some pub sub sauce. I go with my samurai and get some yum yum sauce. <laughs> When I go to my old elementary school, and I just rub it all over my body. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> you were wrong, Principal Jenkins. Well, they both have careers. They have seven gigs to pursue them. It's the first quarter. I don't know if you recognize that voice. So I'm, a little, I'm a little nervous. Why? Uh, tonight. I, I feel like I've never been in a room in Miami with this many white people before. <laughs> <laughs> they, so they, 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 they all secretly live in the suburbs. But I want to. I want to say because you know we, uh, Dave and I did like the podcast exchange program. This is a thing where like you go on one person's podcast and the other. Then you gave me meat rub and invited me to a motel. Oh, it is. Yeah. And, then and then I was like, how can I resist? Uh, that, but yeah. I wanted to tell you, like, so I know these Meet guys... Meet me in room 140. I know these guys... I know these guys who are, like, gigging at, like, those... Imp you know, I, I have, like, Forrest's, like, first stand-up shirt that I bought hey, outside the Hard Rock. Hey, uh, babies. But, but, like, now these guys are hot shit. It's so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, I it's mean, amazing. Yeah, yeah. where are the quality of I love it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. Go ahead. This, we love you, Dave. Dave. Go ahead and cut that sound, bud. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. 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 I love... I love Dave. Also, he's a nice guy. He's a funny guy. But also... You look like every 1980s Florida dad. Yeah. Like, that's why, like, you're so, like, this would be a Cougaran, uh, actually. Yeah. To be, I, would, I think, like, the future, like, sports docs are kind of done, but, like, this is sports, sports business docs. I would love to do a big three doc, but entirely about, like, the front office story. Like, the yeah. agents, Pat Riley, Harrison, like, the bit, like, how did they get those three guys? And it wouldn't even be about basketball. It would end with the three of them kind of coming out at yeah. the arena together. Yeah. But, like, that's it. Just like the what about, like, the Messi phenomenon now? Like, that's the... No, I, I listen. Is there any more appropriate town for a guy named Messi to come to? Than, uh, you know, <laughs> He's got rats in his house. Than Inter Fort Lauderdale. Um, yeah. Inter Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Yeah. Inter Fort Lauderdale? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's where they play. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that so, doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> so Inter Fort Lauderdale. I, I, I've, always, I've always felt this way about the big three. And tell me if this is fair. Like you're you're really involved in politics now, and like you know you're opinionated about politics. Um, I feel like my whole life growing up, there was this image 
of um, Miami, where like everyone was like, Miami's the coolest fucking place. You're so lucky you live in Miami. Like, like, wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So like, but this was like an era, like up to like the mid '90s. Like uh, MTV was always here doing Spring Break or doing the MTV Awards. It was like the it was the cool. I went away to college at Auburn. Everyone's like, why would you ever leave Miami? And I'm like, I don't know. I wanted to experience something different, you know, whatever. And then I remember being that way. There was this positive worldly viewpoint of Miami until around that big three era when LeBron came down here it was like the rest of the world got fucking jealous and that was it's almost like all politics now people's opinions are mostly skewed just by what the news is telling them and I felt like a, a lot of the news sports news was telling people oh that's fucked up he went there oh Miami's fans suck they don't show up on time for sure like games which is true and they don't deserve them and they were getting such negative like they were getting such negative, like, stuff that all of a sudden I'd go somewhere and people were like, oh, you're from Miami? That place fucking sucks. Like, people don't even... I just think that literally the news media affected the world's view of Miami because of that announcement. I feel like Miami has always been a place that people outside of it love to hate, and all of us who live here hate to love it. Yeah. You know, like, there's that weird, that, that weird kind of relationship with it. But I, but I, I think that there was, like, the LeBron, the, what they call it, LeBronomics of, yeah. like, him coming here was like earth shattering. Like yeah. it really like helped to build like that area downtown. People started moving into those otherwise empty condos. It was pretty it was pretty exciting, but like the messy thing feels a little bit different. It feels like tectonic. Yeah, it feels yeah. like international in a way that even LeBron didn't. No no, we're done with roaches. I'm not fucking like bring back roaches. <laughs> Fuck you. Sorry. Right. Right. Super excited right. about the roach segment. We did all the OJ and uh, nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to do rap. He was amazing at it, truly. Do you remember your lines in the commercial? <laughs> there was a lot of lines. We did we did several of them, but there was a lot of pre-lubrication <laughs> and uh, yeah. Love the yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they come pre-lubed. I I didn't know that. Like, yeah, but you said it like a smile. Yeah, because yeah. I was excited about it. Of course. Like some old guys at home watching TV, and he's like, I try these catheters. Yes, yeah. exactly. Where am I going? Face I can trust. In my catheter, I have to lube myself. Like, <laughs> what a shit life that is. I'm gonna, if I have to even have a catheter, I'm gonna kill myself. Whatever our meat would taste like after like McDonald's and yeah, fucking that's great. That's cocaine amazing. and fucking IPAs. <laughs> Alright, well, I left the comedy in where I'm outside. Uh, that was pretty cool. Went, went really great. Follow the Mermen on their podcast. They, uh, they did a good job recording live. They had Billy Corbin, director, as a guest. And um, it's getting late, so I'm gonna take off. Maybe hang out with Willie a little bit before I start the late shift. This is the outside of the Quality Inn. They just re-ramped their pool. It looks very nice. And yes, in the podcast, this is the pool that I got in my underwear and dove in once. But um, they've they've really done this really nice. It's a nice place to, uh, if you're here on business, a quick trip to Miami and you don't want to deal with the hassle of Brickell and fucking downtown and South Beach. Bro, go down US 1 right here, Pinecrest. It's everything you need. And if you come down during the, when they have a show, even, even better. Hey, look, look what I found. Heineken's. That can mean only one thing. You smoking a cigarette? Willie. Oh, yeah. You smoking cigarettes now, Willie? Oh, that look like a cigarette to me. Hey, bro, I can't be hotbox, bro. I got fucking Uber clients. I gotta think I'm a degenerate. So, Willie, let's, uh, I gotta go, I gotta go back out. I gotta, I gotta work. I gotta stay so, what, did you, so, what did you think about the uh, podcast? Our podcast. It was great. It was, uh, I liked it. I like the video. Like you see more of me than you. It's always a good day. That's that's the thing. And, bro, I put a couple clips of this event podcast. They did a really good job. I thought it was really good. Really good. Yeah, yeah. They produced it well. The mic sounded good. This room is always good. I, dude, I have video of me doing this the first time. That's great. Do you remember when Ellie painted the sign? Ever, yeah. Did you ever do yeah, it? Yeah, I, I performed here, I think, two or three times. But back then, the stage was on the I might have side. video of you here. Yeah, back then, the stage was on where the bar is. Yeah, they soundproofed it. Where the they bar did. is, you know, that's where the stage was. I haven't performed on this side. But tomorrow, David Stebbins said he's going to bring me up. 
Yeah. Hey, yeah. Guess that? You're gonna guess spot? Uh, I I said hi to Forrest and Williamson. They're they're selling merch right now back there with the people. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dip, man. I gotta dip. It's, it's already too late. I didn't think I was gonna stay here too that long. When it ruined my night. But it was good. Maybe we'll go to. When are they doing Dania Improv? Maybe I'll go check them out over there. No, I'll fucking drive back back. This is it. No, but maybe I'll go check them. Come tomorrow. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk with Lisa. I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Lisa to be on the podcast. Here tomorrow. Yeah, I told. I told him about the podcast. Did you show it to him? I also told Justin. I even said Justin Zimmerman. 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 Did you tell him we mentioned him? Yes, of course. All right, bro. Well, I'm gonna hit the road, bro. When are you leaving? Tomorrow? No, I'm leaving Sunday. All right, bro. I don't work till I don't work till I don't work till Monday. So. All right. But are these are these the gay Jordans, bro? They're, not, they're, they're the gay, bro. They're, they're pink. The oh, no, let's, let's put them in the light, bro. They're, they're the multiverse. Fighting. Put them in here, Willie. I want to see the. Bro, those are pink, dog. They got some pink the, in it. Bro. Those are the gay Jordans. <laughs> No, they look they look good, bro. They're the spider. Hey, bro. They're there's a the couple couple story. comments on the on the podcast, bro. They say, hey, bro, those are thousand dollar kicks Willie's got they on. They really are. <laughs> what? Yeah, but nah, bro. The originals you know, you know were a thousand. You, those you got well, for three yeah, hundo. No, I did. I paid over seven hundred dollars for those shoes. Have, really? I have two pairs. That's yeah. but those are the second gen. Twenty tens, bro. Those are the twenty tens. Yeah. I thought they reissued. Them. Nah, bro. They don't reissue them. It's, it's fucking money. Right. Now go back. Check this out. Ain't nobody got this. The the Jordan. Heat fucking but baseball he, jersey though. He never Come played on. with the heat deep, bro. Fuck, fuck, fuck. everything, I'm her dog, as I tell my All right, well, so they're closing out. You know, I would hang back and talk with Lisa and Dave and all those guys, but you know what? I gotta get on the road, and uh, they're busy talking to their fans and selling merch, so I'm just gonna hit the road. But it was good hanging out with Willie. Thanks to everybody who checked out the podcast yesterday, and, um, we're hitting the road again. Let's see. I got 5 a.m. reservation. Might not be vlogging that much because, come on, let's face it, this was kind of the tail end. It'll be a good tail end. And the vlog's already too long, right? The irony is, you know what? I'm in the parking lot. I might get a, if I sign in right now, I might get a ride somewhere out of here. Because, bro, these comedy ends, people drink, bro. I was very, um, I was very uh, pleasantly surprised that everybody stayed to the end to the end of the podcast because uh, you know live podcasts are not easy to produce but they did a good job so let's sign in and get to work what do you know the fucking surges are going insane uh, up in South Miami and Coral Gables so we're right down here on US 1 uh, so we're doing good we're in a good position to go and it felt good taking a little a little break from work, right? I, I not, don't often take a little break like this. It's usually when Willie comes down. But, all right, we're signed in. Bring it on. All right, I got a $10.55 Uber X with a surge, 10, almost 11 bucks, just going up a little bit north of here, driving into Kendall. So I accepted it from Kendall, see if I can get anybody going back into the South Miami downtown area. And we're just playing it by ear. I don't think I'm going back to the airport. I think I'm just gonna play it by ear on the streets. Try to hit my $100 goal for today since you know I took this extended break. But um, you know, playing it by ear. All right, dropped off a nice Colombian woman. You know what? If this is any kind of state, she was working for a catering company and this was a private party there in Pinecrest. Or Kendall and look at these surges bro look at that there's a six dollar surge in the hammocks way over there this lady was telling me she's from Colombia and she works for like private chefs catering companies she was dressed all in black you know to for private parties she says those people are making like 30 bucks an hour bro and I was like really and she's like yeah and when it's the season you can do well and I was like man that's awesome bro like my girlfriend to do something like that you know if I can get her over here that would be a great gig for her um you know or a, or a part time thing you know you, you, do, you join one of those agencies um but bro that's good news bro 
private parties in homes and I'm Ubering their staff, that's great. That's great. That means people are going out tonight. People are going out this weekend. This weekend is a time to, to capitalize. So we're, we're out here. Look at these. Whoa. Fucking South Miami Coral Gables, $13. I got to get over there fast, bro. All this red map and peaks, and they're selling me a $2.60 trip going to Cutler Bay in the opposite direction of where all that red is. I mean, is this is this Uber app, Is do they understand what's going on? Like, I don't know, shouldn't the algorithm be smart enough to be like, hey, you know what, how about uh, the guy accepting a ride in the opposite direction of where you offering all this extra money? How about you pay that guy a little extra to do that? Not lowball him with the least, bro, that's the least amount I've seen for any Uber X ride, $2.61. That seems to be like their minimum. I don't know how they came out with that number, but I mean, you can't buy a quarter pounder with cheese with $2.61. Like, I, I don't understand how that works. <laughs> All right, by the UM dorms. I just drove a guy from Taco Craft, student, works at the restaurant quick ride but I think there was a peak so it was like a little over four bucks and immediately got another ride right around the corner I think it's this group of chicks here uh oh three chick four chicks in Mario's car all right <laughs> oh now the grove's lighting up frat party like crazy here just dropping off these four girls they couldn't make up their minds which ones they wanted to go to first but it's not cool cute girls they're all Three in the back were all fucked up, but whatever. No incidents, all good. All those little college freshmen are partying tonight. Which is weird because there's huge peaks in Coconut Grove right now. So, as much as I love driving drunk sorority girls around, I need to make some money, bruh. And the money seems to be in Coconut Grove right now. Probably another wave of students coming back here. So we're gonna do it. Check out these peaks. I mean surges. You know what I mean. All right, we are in Coconut Grove. Let's see. Sandbar, normal amount of people. Dude, I scored a $7 surge. And it seems like everyone's, look at this guy's walking down the street with a pitcher of beer, bro. This guy's walking across the street with a pitcher of beer, bro. All right, 14.51 to Brickle. Let's do it. We scored. Brickle's probably popping too. Let's do it. Oasis Lounge. The Grove is kind of dead. I don't even understand why there were so many peaks here. Maybe Regatta. That's where we're going. Regatta's probably packed. Makes sense, I dropped off that kid, man, that, that, fuck, these people are probably fucked up. If that kid, I, the first ride I had in this vlog was to Regatta. And, uh, pro, it's been a while. I hope these people aren't fucked up. Whatever, it's a risk we take on a Friday night where it balls to the wall. Last kid I had in here was saying, hey, it might be the first week of, uh, I don't have to verify this. It might be the first week of uh, fall. First day of fall? September 21st? I don't know. I said, saw something on uh, TikTok or Instagram with uh, that Earth, Wind, and Fire song. La -di -da -di -da. Something in September. That, whatever that song is, it's today. All right picking up drunk people at regatta let's do it all right miami city hall and we have our hazards on here we got a lot of ubers a lot of people getting into ubers this is packed this is probably why there was a surge here and this fucker is still inside Coming. <sighs> oh, 
All right, dropped off those four kids. They didn't, they didn't seem like freshmen. Regatta's an older college crowd, 1451, not bad. I'm on Bird Road and fucking by Tropical Park. Uber is doing something with the fucking maps when you accept a reservation. It feels like the pickup and the drop off are inversed. That's why I thought this was going into Brickle because it, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but this is the second time it's happened to me with the map where I look at it and I'm like, oh, I'm starting here and I'm going there, but it's actually, I'm here and I'm going there. So I was going in the opposite direction of Brickle, whatever. So these kids, man, it's funny. I was like expecting them to, you know, like every other buddy, every other fucking college frat kids for fucking tr ghetto trap music. This guy's, oh, dude, can we play music? I go, yep, got Apple Music. Just tell me what you want to hear. And they actually played two songs that I added to my Uber playlist, man. And they were not rap songs. First song, Zach Bryan, which I guess I've heard of, but I've never really gotten into that guy's songs. Anyway, Zach Bryan, he had a song called Sarah's Place. So I played that, and they were vibing to it. It's like a country song. I was like, so surprised. I was like, damn, these are like clean cut kids. <laughs> they're talking about fucking golfing and shit. And then they were playing, then they asked me to play Paramore and then some other song that was like very, you know, just like our normal adult contemporary song. And I was like, you know, maybe there is hope for these kids. You know, they're all, not all listening to Kodak Black and fucking Tory Lanes. <laughs> last, last night, my, one of my last trips from Club 11 was, can you play Tory Lane's radio? I was like, yeah, sure. The girl was goddamn beautiful last night. She looked like a damn supermodel. And whatever. They didn't say a word to each other. I think they were just roommates. They weren't even hooking up. Uh, but yeah, the kids nowadays, it's funny. It's like I talked to some UM students. They go, bro. The most ghetto trap music is what all these like rich upper class middle class uh, rich um, upper class students uh, frat boys listen to, like that's why ghetto music exists is for rich white guys who go to college. All right, so, so getting some tips here, two dollar tip, two dollar tip on that guy that came from the restaurant. I guess he, he appreciates. Always pick up people from restaurants. They know how to tip. Then a $3 tip. The girls that I took from the, the UM housing to Mahoney, they tipped me as well. So overall, I'm fucking ecstatic to be getting rides that keep me in South Miami and keep me busy. But now... I don't see many. I think the surges have gone. Bro, it's like a little window, bro. It was like 12.30 to 1.30. It's 1.30 right now. That little window. Surging everywhere. All right. Is this vlog getting a little too long? I think it is. Maybe I should end it. I got a reservation at 5, and I don't feel like just vlogging for the sake of vlogging. I'm tired. I recorded a podcast today with Willie Q. We went and saw a live podcast at the Comedy Inn. So I'm looking at $103.61. So even with all that time I spent off, I, I'm already over 100 and the night is still young. I'm gonna creep up and try to fucking get some more rides in downtown or Coconut Grove or Brickell or wherever the case may be. Uh, the night's not over and I have a five o'clock reservation. So, this is what I made. Hopefully, maybe it's over 150, hopefully. <clears throat> but if not, it's okay. We got a lot done today. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, I hope Saturday's fucking busy. So this has been a day of podcasts, live streams, comedy, and UM frat house shenanigans around South Miami. Man, I really didn't do, I did one airport ride. And I don't know, I feel good about today. We did all right. If you leave, if you leave, uh, if you like this, if you like this kind of content, leave a like, comment, and subscribe with a beat, beat, beat. 
Or if you think I'm sus, then subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow.